daybreak at Virampatinam Beach in southern India. Prakash Kumar is preparing his boat to go fishing, confident that he will not capsize in an unexpected storm or encounter abnormally rough seas, and that he will find the fish shoals and bring back a good catch. Wishful thinking? No. Computer technology. Every day, Prakash Kumar and other fishermen in Tamil Nadu visit a knowledge center where they access online weather forecasts, wave height, and location of fish. Through ICT, the, the individual could be able to get that information, the first-hand information immediately, which makes him to plan, could be able to get the benefit out of that. So that is in that way the communication is one that plays a very major role, empowering people. At the Swaminathan Research Foundation's Regional Resource Center, weather, wave, and official information is downloaded from sources such as the U.S. Navy. It is translated into local Tamil language and transmitted daily to village knowledge centers established throughout India as part of a project to connect the most deprived. The information is really useful about the height of the waves and everything. Sometimes they also announce it over the loudspeaker so I can hear it when I am here. By knowing the exact location of the fish, the fishermen can go straight to the fishing grounds, so the cost of diesel fuel is also minimized. Lower costs mean more profit. Not only are the lives of fishermen saved by avoiding surprise storms, but they go home at the end of the day with more money in their pockets. Bringing information and the communications technologies to rural villages, even in the remotest regions, helps people to improve their lives. The International Telecommunication Union is in the forefront of the movement to connect the world and help everyone achieve their development goals. This was prepared by Jill Fickling of UNTV for CNN World Report.